welcome back. My name is Carrie. Today I have another grocery haul for you. I like to have my grocery hauls be more of bulk buying and I buy just a few items at a time. That seems to be how I do it. I go a few months where I'll buy a ton and just stock up and then a few months where I really don't buy. So I'm currently in one of my bigger buy months and I am going to preserve all of these items that aren't already preserved in one way or another. So one of the things I'm going to be doing as soon as I'm done talking to you guys all here is I am going to be preserving up this chicken and I will be preserving it by canning it and by freezing it. And so since I'm going to be freezing it, I thought I'd try some marinades and also the cheese. I'm just going to stick it in my fridge today, but I will go through and shred it all up and then we'll put it in the freezer. Also, today's order is a Walmart order. I seem to shop all over the place. Walmart is where I like to get certain items like chicken and cheese and tomato paste because they're so much cheaper. And I was thinking about making a Sam's Club run, but I decided against that. But here's the weird thing. In my state, they passed a law this year that you can't have plastic bags without paying 10 cents, which is fine. But Walmart decided to do away with the plastic bags altogether. So if you go to pick up your order, they don't give you a bag, which is fine. But I decided to take the easy way out and have them deliver the order, which yes, did cost extra. But I weighed the thought of how much do I want to drive versus how much will it be worth it to pay for the delivery. And this time the delivery won. It doesn't always. And the weirdest thing is they brought paper bags. The bags were all way overstuffed. It's like they put as much would physically fit in the bag, but not the weight of how much would fit in the bag. And then even weirder, they left this on my porch. The bin. Can you believe that? Not the cat. The cat was with my house, but they left the bin. I'm like, are they going to come back to pick this up or do I just have a bin now? This is the strangest thing. So let me bring you in closer and I will show you what I got. I let our tomato paste go down way too low in this house. I used up the last one for our game night the other night and usually I have a ton. So I got the bigger size and the smaller size, seven of each. And then I also got sharp cheddar and extra sharp cheddar. I got three sharp white cheddars. I loved this one when we got it. I haven't shredded my own mozzarella yet, but I got three of those because I think that'll just work so much better than the mozzarella I was using. And I got three Monterey Jacks. So this is a lot of cheese, and I will just stick that all in the freezer once I shred it up. I did get five packages of chicken thighs. I like chicken thighs best for canning because they seem to not fall apart as much, and I just like them all overall. So I'm going to put two of those packages in the freezer in freezer meal style and then three of them will be canned. I decided to take the easy way out again and get some marinades for my chicken that I'm marinating today. This was a substitution. I did get the great value but they substituted the Lawry's and I thought about telling them no I didn't want it because it was a dollar more but then I was like you know what it's fine we're gonna try it. And then over here I did get two soy sauces and three Worcestershire sauces. I got restaurant style salsa just because I've only had Target salsa for a while and I thought I'd try a different flavor. And then I got some mustard and ketchup because I'm wanting to make some barbecue sauce and I needed a little bit more of that. And then I did get some more light mayo because I made a potato salad that was fantastic for game night. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. The potato salad was delicious, but it used a ton of mayo so I needed more. And then the apple juice is also for a barbecue sauce recipe that I'd like to try. So I just checked to see what my order total was and it said, we're sorry your order is delayed. It's delayed by two hours, which is really weird because I got it and I got the bucket. And so that's just strange or basket. I don't know what you call those. Anyways, it was somewhere around $175 subtotal for all of these items. Hard to tell because they don't think they've delivered the order yet. So they haven't finalized the receipt. So I need to put all of this away and then I will see you in my next video to do the chicken.
my cabinet <laughs> before ordering. I already had soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Well, now we just have a ton. Remind me not to buy this for a while. <laughs> if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.